Um, and yeah, so obviously one of the biggest things that people are mostly excited about is always, uh, you know, the token and price discovery, yield farming, all these kind of things. So with the launch uh, two days ago, the FMOS token also started trading. Um, I think first on Diffusion and Kronos, which are two FMOS native DEXs. Um, and I think Injective, they also just listed FMOS there. So what do you think? Um, is there any like premier DEX that you think, um, or I don't know, that you are um, kind of like partnered with, or are you just leaving it to the open market to see where the most liquidity goes? Um, you already teased a little bit earlier that the Diffusion team made a proposal to add incentives there. Um, a lot of people ask me about what's up with Osmosis, you know, when is Asmos going to be listed there? So how is going to be the, the DEX liquidity of the FMOS token itself? If you have any thoughts on, uh, on that? Yeah, so Osmosis is going to be live as soon as the IBC proposal passes on Tuesday. Um, and then I think like other IBC based DEXs are going to soon follow. Um, there's already some um, like an IBC connection with Terra. Um, that is currently live. So I, I assume there's also going to uh, bring a lot of liquidity to Evmos. Um, they also published a governance proposal to bring or to source liquidity from the Terra community to the different uh, applications on Evmos because they see like the value that Evmos is providing by attracting all these like developers and all these like apps that are suddenly deploying um, on an EVM environment. Um, they're going to attract way more users to the entire Cosmos ecosystem. So uh, they see like a positive, uh, they see the positive value here of like having an EVM chain connected to them via IVC. And that's why they're also supporting all these applications. Mm -hmm. um, re regarding the question of whether there's a premier uh, DEX on Evmos or not, I think the, the, the approach that we're taking as a team is very hands off. It's sort of letting the market do the work of deciding what dApps they like, what dApps they don't like. Um, what The only thing that we can do really is uh, help developers uh, gain visibility with, with users who are new to both the Evmos ecosystem uh, specifically, but also the Cosmos eco ecosystem more generally. Because if you think about it, uh, this is the first time that a lot of Ethereum users are actually interacting with the Cosmos ecosystem. Um, and we want to do the best job possible to give developers the right tools to leverage that and to make a good first impression um, to, in order to build, you know, growth flywheels for their users. <clears throat> yeah, and uh, I've also seen like a lot of coverage uh, on uh, big media outlets um, also, like some Ethereum native people, they're really excited to to use that. And also, the hype seems to be real. I mean, there's a lot of projects that came out, uh, DeFi-wise, NFT-wise. Um, the FMOS punks are there, uh, some other NFT projects. So can you talk a little bit about the, the ecosystem? Maybe name some projects that you're mostly excited about. I think you also have a grants program that people have already applied for and uh, got some grants. So yeah, maybe talk a little bit about the, the ecosystem and some things that are coming in the next uh, few days and weeks. Yeah, so about the ecosystem, there are like a bunch of like DeFi native AMMs um, being deployed on Evmos. Uh, some of them are um, like Uniswap forwards like Diffusion, but in general, like they are trying to leverage the unique functionality uh, from Evmos in order to provide additional incentives for users to use their applications. So for example, like Diffusion just created the user incentives to um, send all these rewards to users that use the, the router contract. Basically, whenever they use the application, they, they interact, um, and they get some uh, rebates for the um, gas that they spent. And then you have like all these NFTs and NFT marketplace, I think like the the main uh, NFT marketplace right now is Orbit, um, and it's being built by the Orbital Apes team. And you also have like a, like different sources, uh, different Evmos punks, and, uh, and like apes <laughs> here and there. Um, so it's quite interesting how it's going to be evolving. And I think like we can see a lot of innovation going on in the NFT 
uh, space on on Evmos and on Cosmos because like the before I would say before Stargaze um, started like their value proposition around creating a, an NFT um, native chain, there weren't many NFTs deployed on the ecosystem. So like really happy to see like actual organic growth of the NFT ecosystem there. And then um, do you want to name others? Um, yeah, there's like uh, there's like Cosland. I think Ave yeah. will eventually come over. Um, there's a there's we mentioned a couple AMMs. There's a Kinesis, which is like a stable swap. Um, yeah. yeah.